seconds to start the race behind the safety car. That car that's we are a, at 30 that's seconds a, to start the race behind the safety car. That war, I think, is between uh, Porsche with development Michelin's uh, Ferrari, who now have those tyres. 15 seconds to start the race behind the safety car. And Aston Martin, that who don't. don't. Yeah. Completely different uh, construction and compounds we hear for Porsche, who have done four tyre tests with Michelin since Le Mans. Henri Pescarolo waves the green flag and the six hour clock begins to count down as one of our organisational chiefs, Cedric, on the right hand side there, Cedric Fiat waves the guys out and we are effectively now racing as the time has started with mixed conditions on a circuit that takes its toll on tyres in the dry. Now watch that, uh, I was from the end car there, you can see the line across the road there, John, where the shelter from this massive grandstand disappears. Much, much wetter as we get towards that, that large bridge at the end. We get a chance to see that again, either behind or in front of the cars. We've got a relatively, not dry, but damp uh, start-finish straight. There you go, there's the line, and then it gets to be wet at about this point. Yeah, that's quite interesting, isn't it? The circuit itself, uh, three distinct sectors the first sector the start finish into a very very technical first four corners which really have to be almost thought of as a complex one two and three certainly together with the track falling viciously downhill and almost impossible to defend into turn one if you've got someone quicker than you because there are a myriad of lines certainly in the dry the news from our tactical chat with Audi and Chris Renke this morning. Audi on 28 laps in dry running, 29 for Toyota and 30 or 31. 30 for Toyota. Uh, sorry. And so, 30 or 31 for Porsche, yeah. John. Uh, and we did see a 31 lap stint in the free practice session from Porsche. The other thing is that if that was dry, that would mean Audi would probably have to have an extra stop, but they may not now. Audi did save a set of brand new Michelin tyres yesterday. They were the only one of the major manufacturers who didn't throw two sets of brand new slicks in, in qualifying. Um, that may be moot at this point, but it still means they've got one extra set because you don't get free tyres. You have free choice of tyres. You don't have to start the race, of course, on the tyre that you qualified but uh, you still have only the same amount of uh, slick tyres, which from qualifying through to the end of the race are here eight sets. It's normally six everywhere else. Two or three things to look for at this circuit when we get to be racing. The pinch points, the, the areas where you feel like in a danger zone, where there is an overtaking opportunity, but it, you know the, the, historically we've seen problems between turn one and turn two. Uh, where the LMP cars can go around the outside, but it does get a bit tighter there as the as the, uh, the corner tightens on them and into turn 11. Hey, also, yeah. right yes, there exactly to the right there. of picture. Uh, also, it's bumpy, and in particular, we get this fantastic view. That's the view we've got, more or less from our commentary box, John, um, of this fantastic back straight here, but about a third way down there, with the cars getting towards VMAX, is there's a heck of a bump, and it yeah. does set up that kind of aerodynamic porpoise effect. <laughs>